I just trimmed my eyebrows and plucked my eyebrows, so I have hair everywhere. Ooh. Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to try out some new products, new releases, some products that, that have been out but are new for me and a couple of products that I got in my glossy box. I didn't have a chance to try so I'm trying them out today and if you want to see that then please keep on watching. So I did zoom you in guys so you can see a little bit better. I hope uh, it's not too light, too bright. Please let me know if my lights are okay. I'm kind of experiment experimenting a little bit with my lights. But here I am and before we start please don't forget to subscribe. Please let me hit the 2000 subscribers goal. That is my goal for this year and I hope I really get that um, till the Christmas because I'm planning a big giveaway. So today I'm going to try this Glam Glow Instant Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. Everyone that knows, you guys that know me, I have big pores around here. I hate them here also a little bit on my forehead. It looks so funny so I'm really excited to try this. So I'm going to do that. This is how the mask looks. It's pink and the mask will transform to oxygenating bubbles leave on for 60 seconds rinse with warm water follow with your regular treatment routine use two to three times a week or as often as desired so i'm going to use that today Ooh, it's purple i saw this on the instagram and i was very happy that we got it so fast here in sweden too because we i feel like we are always late to the game with the products when I have the chance to purchase some products that have been out for months and nobody's interested to see me really. So I'm back. <laughs> My that camera was weird. Okay, so it feels very nice and it feels like it really cleansed my pores. Uh, it did tickle a lot, so I couldn't wait for it to pass 60 seconds, so I will rinse it. I do like it. It feels nice. I had to keep using it to see the results, but right now it feels very clean. It's just, I don't, it's still tickling a little bit. But right now I do like it, and I think the packaging is very interesting, and I love the color of this mask. But I will continue using it, and then I will probably review it in my empties when I empty the bottle packaging. Okay, so I have huge bags under my eyes. Uh, every morning right now it's not the morning so it's been a couple of hours since I woke up but I was looking for an eye cream that will kind of calm down my uh, bags under my eyes it was very hard to find online I think so there is so many eye creams out there and some of them reduces the wrinkles I do have wrinkles a lot here small wrinkles that I want to Takeaway. Some of the eye creams are good for the darkness under the eyes. I don't always have darkness under the eyes. A couple of times I do, not always. Uh, there is some a little bit today, but it's not that bad that can be. And some of them are for puffiness. That was the one I was looking for. But there were mixed reviews and some of them were too expensive. So I ordered this one, the Ordinary Coffee Solution 5%. Reduces appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness. So I've been swatching it, and I haven't tried it under the eyes, but I did swatch it a little bit. It's a little bit yellow. Like a jelly texture, yellow. Doesn't smell anything, but I'll try it on my eyes and see. How it feels. I hope it will take away some of the puffiness. I don't have very puffy under eyes today. A little bit not but not that much that I sometimes have. But I can't see anything right now but we had to wait a couple of minutes to see if it will oh, got something in the eye and I hate it. Can't see it so I can pick, take it out. It's very annoying. I can feel it there, but I can't see it. 
So guys, do you see anything? Is there any difference? I can't see anything right now. But it feels nice. It doesn't feel very minty or anything. It feels very light and a little bit cold, but nothing else. So we'll see. I'll continue using this product and see if it will help me with my puffiness because I do get very puffy sometimes, very often. So I do need something for that. But we'll see how this product. Please let me know if you tried it and what do you think about it. It's not expensive. So I was glad to be able to try that one. Okay, I don't have anything for the primer right now. Okay, so today I'm going to use this one hangover primer for Too Faced uh, because I don't have a moisturizer on right now. So we'll try this. Smells nice. It's not my best primer, but it's okay. Right now I want to try this Glam Glow Pad Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment. For the lips the packaging is so cute i did it op i did open it yesterday just to swatch to see how it looks let me say it's so cute but i don't really like this packaging because i often have on the at the night hand cream on my hands and i have been hard time to open it so i did remove this lock, but this kind of thing that's over it it's stuck and doesn't feel very nice i don't like the packaging it's messy i will remove this one It feels a little bit minty, thick, like a thick balm. I don't like the packaging and that you have to put your fingers in it, but um, it's not a bad product. Uh, so we we'll let this sink into the lips. So at the end we can try another lipstick, but uh, let's go. I will do my eyebrows, my foundation off camera, uh, my concealer, and then I'm going to be back to try with a beauty. So my guy, my sons are downstairs they're playing Wii and they're screaming, having fun. They're having fun, but they're screaming aloud. So if you hear them, I'm sorry. Okay, so I did have put some foundation. I did use the Milani foundation. I also used the Revolution um, concealer. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to use Huda Beauty baking powder. I saw, I think all of the swatches and all of the reviews of this powder and everybody all the most people are saying that this is a copy or rip off the beauty bakery now i haven't tried any of the beauty bakery products i really really want to it sounds like some a great brand but i have to say my opinion guys i don't think this is at all similar to the beauty bakery because the only similarity that i can see is that she used the picture took pictures in the kitchen cook baking and the beauty bakery it's all about uh, baking and cooking and those names for the products baking names for the products i don't know but the only similarity the package is totally different the powder names are totally different the shades are totally different uh, that i can see on the website and also it's not a ripoff i'm sorry but there are this is a baking powder so i I don't know. I don't. I don't think there is so much similarity to it, but that's my opinion. I'm sorry if you don't feel like that. Don't don't hate me, but I just think there are not so many ideas for baking powders. Kitchen baking makes sense. I don't think it's at all sim similar to the beauty bakery that I could see on the website. Now, some people said this is very like copied uh, the Maybelline Fit Me powder guys okay not lashing in it but this is setting powders for two different brands and the packaging is the same not the color but the packaging is the same there are so many similar packagings for the products so I mean how many different packaging of the powder can you come up with I don't know, it's just my opinion. So I did bought three shades. I bought the sugar cookie, I bought the cupcake, and also the pound cake, because all of the three shades would be good for my skin tone. Now I have neutral skin tone, medium, light, light, medium, I don't know, different. Uh, so I want to try all three of them and see which one will go 
which one is best for my skin tone and then I will give one to my sister and I also bought the brush because I really really wanted this brush this is face and baking blend brush dual and a setting complexion brush with synthetic fibers now it says here I like I really like this packaging it says baking made easy dip dense the brush or beauty sponge into powder net pack a generous layer under the eye, your eyes from corner through temples T-zone out the corner of the mouth and chin. Let powder bake for three to five minutes while applying the rest of your makeup using a fluffy brush, gently dust away excess powder. So I'm going to use this, the lightest one. Let me open all of them so I can show you. I did open one and smell it because it smells wonderful. I don't also understand why people say the smell is too strong. I don't think it is at all, but that's we all different. That's good. Some products work for me. Some product don't work for somebody else or some not working for me. So this is three shades that I got. Now uh, I'm going to the lightest one. The, this is the translucent one. This is sugar cookie. Is it? Yeah, sugar cookie. I'm going to use um, down here to see and set a little bit on my forehead. That, that's the translucent. Then I'm going to try on the one eye cupcake. It's more like pink shade. And the one uh, pound cake is more yellow undertone. So I'm going to try these two under the eyes. One on the one eye and the other on the other eye. And I will see and it will help me to choose one that's so that's the, that works best for me. Nothing happened, nothing happened. <laughs> and this is the powder. It smells so nice. And I, I, it smells, but I don't think it smells strong. So, okay, let's go to the next one. No problem with my nails. This is this one and the translucent one. Looks like this. Okay. So, I'm going to use the brush. So, I'm going to take this cupcake. So fine, milk. And pack it under eyes. Oh, oh, I love the smell. People say it smells like her foundation, but I haven't tried the foundation. I need to go to Sephora and swatch it and choose one shade. This looks so nice. I don't always bake a lot because it my it makes my my under eyes look very cakey. Okay. Then I'm going to take. The sponge and take uh, this shade pound cake and use that to apply on this side this one is more has a more yellow undertone I think I prefer the brush actually but we'll see then I'm going to take uh, this translucent sugar cake and to take another side side of this and bake a little bit on the forehead here so we'll see how this is going to look it smells very very nice so this one is more pink undertone this one is more yellow and this is translucent so I'm going to go into this new uh, Smashbox Shape and Bronze and Glow Palette. This is the Kali Kelly Contour, I can't pronounce it, but this is the new palette. And I watched all of the videos that are on the YouTube for this palette because I did want, I wanted a, uh, a new contour shade, but I did, and I wanted a palette, but I was thinking of buying the Kat Von D palette. And I really wanted that for a long time, but it's a little bit expensive and I don't know why I never reach for that one. I don't know. I think because of the lighter shades out there, I don't usually use those shades for under eyes. So I checked out this one and it's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but this is a beautiful palette. I did swatch it, haven't used it, but I did swatch it. This is the contour shade. This is the bronzer. This is the blush. 
this one is highlighter, this, this is a shimmery bronzer, and this is a highlight shade. This shade is a little bit, uh, like it's, it's not matte, it looks like it has a more like satin finish to it. So you can put it under the eyes or under the uh, eyebrows to light it up. But actually this one is the highlighter, this is the um, bronzer. But if you have deeper skin tones, skin tones, I think this will work beautifully as a bronzer, to, uh, as a highlighter too. So I will try this palette today, I'm very excited. I did swatch all of the shades. But I haven't tried it on my face, so I'm going to use that. So let's take a clean brush. And actually, I'm going to try a new brush that I got from one of my gloss box. I think it was is the limited edition. This is called Lagerfield and Model Co. And I think this angled brush will work beautifully for the contouring. So I will try that. Use actually use this mirror to see. Ooh, ooh, I like the brush too. It's the first time me using the brush. This looks very nice. Hide the double chin. We need to hide the double chin. We need to use this kind of brush and use that shade too. Can't on my nose. So let me dust away the powder so I can see how it looks. I'm going to use this. So guys, what do you think? Which one looks better? This one that's with a pink undertone or yellow undertone? I kind of don't know which one to you pick. I like how this made my under eyes look very smooth and very nice. I'm liking it. So far I'm liking it. I just, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know which shade I will pick for me. What do you think? This one or this one? Let me know down below. Okay, let's take the bronzer. And I'm going to use my new powder brush from BH Cosmetics for the bronzer. Oh, that picked a lot of the product. Oh, I like this bronzer. I'm really liking this uh, bronzer also a lot. It melts into the skin. It, it kind of blends very even. And I like it a lot. Let's take uh, the blush, this shade here. Let's use also BH Cosmetics br new brush that I bought. And take a little bit of it. What's going on here? Hmm. I have like dark spot here. I don't know what that is. This is a nice shade. It looks very dark and kind of scary to use. But I kind of like it. It blends well, very easy. And I really, really want to try this highlighter also. This shade up here. I want to try this one. Fan brush. Let's use a fan brush. Clean fan brush. Just a little bit because I have another, another highlighter that I want to try. This is a nice highlighter. I like it. This is a great palette. I'm so happy that I bought this one. So guys, I'm back. I did use this palette on my eyes. I did get a little bit of fallout, but I just swapped that away. Uh, I'm liking how my under eyes look. Uh, they look a little bit dry, but I always look dry when I have this. And this is also new. I can't, it's, I don't know, it's giving me a headache. Uh, but it's cute. Okay, so right now I do have a new that I got my glossy box Cause uh, Cause Lagerfield and Model Co. Long Lasting Liquid Liner that I want to try. I'm not going to bring it Maybe we'll see. But I really really want to try it and see It's thick mm. I'm going to use this one. I have another one that's more like Thin layer, also from the same brand, but I lost my 
eyelash glue. And I have a new eyelashes I want to try. This is Huda Beauty Fora, Fora number 12 eyelashes that I got when I purchased all of the Huda Beauty products from Feel Unique. So I got these. And I want to try them on today. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to line with just one line. I hope I don't mess up my eye look because I really spent a lot of time doing this one and I didn't film it. Let me know down below if you want to see it. I was playing a little bit with that palette. Oh, oh it's sick. It doesn't apply evenly. I don't like it. I feel like it skips a little bit. And I need to go over a couple of times. It feels a little bit liquidy and it feels like it's not enough pigment, pigment in it. I need to go over the line a couple of times to cover up because eyeshadow is a little bit darker and it has a hard time to go over it. But yeah, it's not my favorite. It doesn't bleed. But we'll see. Okay, then I have also two baked eye blushes that I want to use from called Model Lo called Lagerfield and Modico. This is one that it's in shade Rose Pink and this one is Rose Beige. Rose pink and rose beige. The rose beige it reminded me of this Maybelline um, rose gold highlighter. So I'm going to use that as a highlighter instead. This shade because it's a little bit light and shimmery. And this one I'm going to use over this, this blush that I used before from the Smashbox palette. Let's see. It's a little bit more pigmented. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for my blush before and tap just a little bit. Oh, oh, it's too shimmery. Oh no, I don't like it. I'm not liking it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Wait, oh wait, I, I'm not liking it. It's too shimmery for uh, blush. Not liking it. Too shimmer. It looks like I put a highlighter on my cheeks. Right away, I didn't like it. Let's use this one as a highlighter instead. The pink rose one. Kind of feel like I destroyed my makeup look with that pink one. And this one is not too bad. It does exaggerate my texture a little bit, but it's not bad as a highlighter. I'm going to use some mascara. I'm going to use this Paradise Mascara and try the eyelashes. I don't remember using this eyelash glue on my channel or at all. Uh, eyelash Eye Waterproof Eyelash Etchy Dark Tone. I did open it, but I don't remember using it. And it's a black one. Oh, I can't find my other one that I love. So I have to use this one. Oh, I need to take away a lot from this. I need to cut like this much. They're a little bit too long for my eyelids. That can be. Do you really need to cut that much? Yep, I need to cut a lot here. So I did get a little bit of the glue here. So I don't need to fix that with eyeliner, but... I can feel them on my eyes, I have to say, guys. They are not as thin as I thought. I wouldn't recommend the black glue because I got it all over my eyeliner, so it doesn't look even right now. But they are very long and very fluffy. So, but I kind of look, like the look. They look cool. Let's take some mascara on my lovely lash line. I mean, they go over my eyebrows. So, I'm dramatic today. I have two more things to try. Uh, this one feels very nice on the lips. So I'm going to remove a little bit of the Glam Glow Pout Mud Wet Lip Balm. So we can try the lipstick. Okay, so I did got this lip liner, Rosewood, in June. 
or July. July's, I think. And it's this shade. I want to try it on my lips today. It's creamy. Not bad. Not bad. Like it. Well, let's then go and try this lip lipstick from uh, Contour Cosmetics. Now, one of my subscribers, lovely subscribers, left a comment down below and said that she also got this lipstick, but she threw it away because it smells bad. And it does smell bad. But I want to try and see how it's going to work on my lips. Like the color. Applicator is very nice. We'll see if it's going to be too drying on my lips. If it is going to be that, I'm going to take it out from my collection. So right now I do like this. So I'm going to set everything with my matte Fix Plus setting spray. And I don't like <laughs> setting my face after my mascara because I always get mascara under my eyelashes, but let's hope it's not going to happen today. And the mist here is not the best. And also I'm going to take this Revolution Setting Spray, Supreme Matte. I feel like this is going to keep uh, the fixed plus is kind of making everything melt into it my skin and look very nice and flawless and not powdery but this one I feel like it's keeping my makeup more in place the whole day so and I'm almost out of this one so guys this is the final look I kind of really like this product I think this is a great face mask I also do like this one. I have to continue playing with it just to see how it's going to work on my eyes. But right now I do like it. I do really, really like the powders. Now I don't know if there is any difference under my uh, my eyes. Please let me know if you do. This one is more pink. This one is more yellow undertone. But I really, really like the powders. I also like the brush. I think I, think I love the brush. I'm so happy that I got it. Uh, okay, so I do like uh, this lip treatment. I think it really moisturized my skin and it plumped a little skin, my lips, and also plumped my lips a little bit. I really, really like that. I'm in love. My new love. I love this palette. This is a wonderful palette. I really like how my contour, my bronzer, my blush also looks. Love it. Though I did destroy it a little bit with this big blush. I hate this. I don't like this at all. I'm not liking any of the shades. This one, the rose beige, I like more than this one. I will never use this one again. This one, I have better. So, I don't know. I'm very disappointed. Though the eyeliner also didn't work very nice. I think it wasn't that pigmented. I had to go over it a couple of times. It looks more gray than it looks black. Not my favorite. Uh, the lip liner, though, I really, really like. The lip liner, I do really enjoy. The lipstick... It's like this. And I did apply it for like 10 minutes ago. So it's not my favorite. It, it feels sticky, but also it feels like it's pulling my lips. It feels dry. Not liking it at all. No. No. The brushes that I used also like a lot. They are big, they are huge, they are in your face eyelashes and if you like them, I will definitely tell you to try them. The band is thick and they look very heavy, but they are not heavy at all on my eyes. I'm surprised because I really thought that it will dry, it will pull down my eyelashes. I can see them. And uh, they are a little bit too long for my eyelids because I do have small eyelids and hooded eyes. So they come a little bit over my eyebrows when I look straight. So maybe not work for my eye shape, but they're, they're nice. They're really nice. I, I like them. And I'm going to continue using them on my channel because I like how they look. 
but maybe not the best shape, not the best sold for mice. I just say that, but I do like them. Guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. Give a thumbs up if you did. Please don't forget to subscribe and help me out. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!